حنبلش هلا بالاناليسيز اوف بادجري اللي هن بالبوك دوكيومنت 1 2 اند 3 اوكي لما انا بدي حل بادجري تو سولف اني بادجري اي هاف تو اسك ماي سيلف تو كويستشنز ذا فيرست كويستشن اي وونت تو نو ويذر ماي تريت از دومينانت اور ريسيسيف اند ذا سكند كويستشن وود بي ذا لوكيشن اوف ذا جين وير از ماي جين لوكيتد از ات لوكيتد اون ذا واي كروموزوم اون ذا اكس كروموزوم اور اون ذا هوموليجس سيجمنتس اوف ذا اكس اند واي كروموزوم And if I fail to prove any of these, ما قدرت أنا أعمل proof إنه it's on Y or X on on the homologous segment, then it would be on an autosome. Okay. Let's uh, look at the characteristics of uh, of each. Okay. So if the mode of inheritance is autosomal dominant, so for every individual who is diseased, okay, at least one of the parents is diseased. And he the main uh, main. Uh, Characteristic. Okay. For an autosomal recessive trait, our she will be able to I will have an affected individual with normal parents. And if the parents are affected, then all of the children should be affected. If the mode of inheritance is X-linked dominant, okay, then the affected males would pass the trait to all of their daughters. Okay, then if the male is affected, so he would have X big D Y. Then no, this X big D will with that hayat the X like all banato. So all of the daughters will have X big D. So regardless the allele that is carried on the other copy of the X, they carry the X big D, and it will be expressed as a disease. Okay, so affected dad, he will have affected daughters. Okay, the affected mom. Can have an unaffected son because the affected mom can carry the normal the X with the normal allele and it can uh, give it to her son and the son would be normal, okay. And unaffected parents cannot have affected children, okay. لأنه or else it had been shown that when they carry the dominant diseased allele. In case of X-linked recessive, the affected females will pass the trait to all of the sons. هلا ما نعم نجد هون بالفاتيكري الاكزامبل بس لانه if the female is affected uh, the genotype will be x small d x small d وحتعطي الصن وحدة من يعني على يعني كل احوال ما عندها غير اوبشن واحد انه تعطي الاكس uh, small d للصن والصن ما عنده another x هيكون في عنده x small d y so بدك uh, حيعمل expression للديزيز اوكي It will appear in the female only if the uh, if her father if is affected. لأنه the female بدها تكون في عندها x small d x small d for for her to be diseased. وساعتها بدها تكون ماخذة x small d من بيا و x small d من أمة. وهذا ال x small d من بيا حتكون عم بيا مبينة as a disease. Okay. هون ال ال example اللي مبينة هون إنه the affected sons can be Produced by normal parents, لأنه بتكون ال mom is carrier for the recessive disease allele and it will be expressed in the son. Okay. هلا حنأخذ example وحنشوف كيف how to analyze the pedigree. In our she we have to ask ourselves whether the trait is dominant or recessive. Okay. If it's recessive, if it occurs in individuals whose parents are not affected, and it's dominant if every affected individual has at least one affected parent. بس أعرف هي شو أنا بنتل إلى تاني سؤال. بس الحالة أنا بحاول على كل نقطة إنه أنا to prove إنه it's not on Y. I have to, I, I try to prove that it's not on X. بصير كل مرة إذا درت أنا أعمل proof إنه it's not on Y بنتل إلى تاني نقطة. Okay? بقول أنا Uh, I'll try to prove that it's not on Y. Okay. If I see a female affected, so of course it's not on Y. Okay. Come in. If I find that, if I don't find that for every affected son, the father is affected, so it's not on Y. Because if the son is affected, who is son has Y, so I think that Y will be given to him. So if the son is affected, that that should be affected. If I don't find this pattern, so so also it's not on Y. If I was able to prove that it's not on Y, I go on and try that it's uh, to prove that it's not on X. لحتى أعرف if the gene is on X chromosome or not. في عندي في عندي مثل كأنه two branches. Okay. أنا من الأول أنا قلت هاي the trait dominant or recessive. إذا قلت عنا that the trait is dominant. Okay. 
I want to prove is it on X chromosome or not. If I find an affected father, the يعني genotype will be X big D Y with an unaffected daughter, it will be X X. So it's not on Y chromosome, on X chromosome. Okay, so I'm going to prove that it's not on X chromosome. If I can't see the trait, it is actually dominant. Okay, because the dad will have the X D for the daughter, and the daughter will have disease. Because this is not the case, so it's not on X chromosome. If I can't see the trait, it is actually recessive. How will it show up? An affected female, so the genotype will be called X small d, X small d, with an unaffected father. لازك إذا كان the father unaffected, so can X Y. مستحيل تكون on X chromosome لأنه إذا كانت on X chromosome كان حيكون the dad affected. Okay, كان حيكون X D Y, so it's not on X. أو في نفتش على an affected mom اللي حيكون the genotype اللي إلى X D و X D, but the son is not affected. مستحيل تكون في عندي هيدي الكيس إذا كانت الجين على الـ X chromosome لأنه كان هيدي المام would donate an X D to her son والصن حيكون X small D Y and he would be diseased لأنه this is not the case so it's not on X chromosome شو كيف حاول حل كتير أنا حاول uh, حاول انفي إنه على الـ X chromosome إذا زبطت معي بروح على تاني option Okay, so I now I had said that no, it's not on Y, it's not on X. Okay, is it on the homologous segment of the X and Y? Is that the result of the marhale? Shuf, can it was it the my trait recessive or dominant? If my trait is recessive, I try to find a sister and a brother that are both affected, but their father is normal. Okay, le. لأنه if both sister and brother are affected, so the genotype of the sister would be X D X D, and the brother would be X D Y D. If they're both affected, their father, if the gene is on the homologous segment of X and Y, the father should be X, D, Y, D. لأنه هو عطى ال X لبنته وعطى ال Y ل لابنه. But if the no, if the father was normal, عطى X, Y, so it's not on the homologous segment of X and Y. Okay. أما if my trait was dominant, I have to search for another thing. I have to find a normal sister and brother, but their father is affected. يعني بالقلب كأنه لأنه if the sister and the brother were were normal but the father was affected يعني إذا father was affected يا حيكون عنده x big d y or x y and big d okay so at least يا يا الصبي حيكون affected لأنه he would inherit ال 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 y with a diseased allele or the or the sister would be diseased لأنه she would have inherited the x with the big d لأنه this is not the case so it will it is not on the homologous segment of the X and Y and I say then it's on the autosome okay خلينا نحل بس هذه الاكزامبل أكيد حنحل الاكزامبل من الدورات بس أول ما أطلع هذه الفاتيكري بفكر إنه is it dominant or recessive تغري مجرد ما بلاقي إنه مثلا for example this individual this girl is diseased or her parents are normal so it is recessive ساعتها كل مرة بدي فكر بدي حل بعدين is it on X or is it on the homologous segment of X and Y بأخذ ال option تعول ال recessive شو اسمه هاي تكون options أنا هون لأنه أنا قلت من الأول إنه it's recessive is it on Y لا لأنه the girls are affected طيب is it on X أنا بعرف إنه هي recessive استوى لأنه هي recessive بدي فتش على an affected girl okay with a healthy father لأنه هيدا الجير is affected if the if the gene was on X so the genotype of seventeen for example كان حيطلع X small d X small d وهيدا الواحد من X small d حتكون جايبيتها from her father but her father is normal so it's not on X chromosome okay لأنه إذا كانت on X her father would be diseased أو فتش على an affected mom but the son is healthy مثلا for example هيدا المام is affected so إذا كان الجين على X كان حيطلع في عندي X d X d وكان الصن إجباري يأخذ منه X D لأمه وكان الصن إجباري يكون ديسيس but this is not the case so it's not on X. I I go on and ask the question of whether the gene is on the homologous segment of X and Y. Okay? هاي دي رسالة. فأنا بدي فتش على على sister و brother that are affected with a normal father. إذا لقيت هاي دي الكيس so it's not on the homologous segment of X and Y. اوكي بتطلع هون بلاقي انه هون في عندي سيستر وبرذر بوث افكتد يعني هيدي السيستر حتكون اكس دي اكس دي سمول دي وال وال والبوي حيكون اكس سمول دي واي دي كمان سمول ذي ار بوث افكتد فاجباري انه يكون 
ال الإجباري إنه يكون ال father disease uh, this is not the case the father is normal uh, so it's not possible so it's not on the homologous segment of X and Y so it's on an autosome. Now we're gonna start talking about the chromosomal mutations and this will be document four. So early on we talked about the DNA mutations when we talked about the substitution, deletion, and insertion. Now we're gonna talk about uh, mutations and the level of the chromosomes. And the first type of uh, abnormalities that we have at the level of the chromosomes is the abnormalities in number. And in this case, we would be talking about the trisomies, monosomies, Okay, so the very well-known uh, trisomy is trisomy 21 that causes the Down syndrome and the individual would have uh, cardiac deformations, mental retardation, uh, although the sexual maturity would be reached. Okay, let me confirm the trisomy 21. I'm going to see three copies of 21 uh, chromosome uh, and uh, in certain cases, uh, this, uh, the third copy of the chromosome would be translocated to chromosome 14. So if you look at the carrier type pack at the uh, first uh, instant, I'm going to think that uh, the, the carrier type is normal, but then I uh, see that the chromosome 21 has translocated to chromosome 14 and this is also trisomy 21. I also have trisomy 18, 13 and 18. And eight. Um, come in another examples of abnormalities in number is Turner syndrome, uh, where um, the, the female has only one X and not XX. The female would be sterile, she will have uh, an ovary atrophy, she would be short, and she will not express any secondary sexual characteristics. Males can uh, suffer from uh, Klinefelter syndrome. Uh, they will have XXY. They, uh, they are also uh, sterile and uh, their testis uh, is not normal. They have uh, uh, testis atrophy. They exhibit both the male and the female secondary sexual characteristics. We also have the other examples like XYY, XXX. And actually, uh, the abnormality in the number of the chromosome is due to non-disjunction. So what is non-disjunction? Non-disjunction uh, is uh, the failure of a pair of the chromosomes to separate either in meiosis 1 or meiosis 2. So let's take a look here. Okay, so here this is meiosis 1. Uh, the chromosome, the homologous chromosomes are supposed to migrate to different cells. Okay, and uh, each cell is supposed to get one copy uh, of this homologous, homologous chromosomes. But when non-disjunction occurs, uh, both homologous chromosomes go to one daughter cell. So these daughter cells will, will have an extra copy of one of the uh, chromosomes. Okay, so they will be n plus one. And these uh, the daughter cells of this cell, اللي هي ما أخذت ولا copy من this uh, set of chromosomes, they will have uh, n minus one, missing one copy of the chromosomes. And in case of non-disjunction in meiosis 1, all of the gametes will be abnormal. This is opposed to non-disjunction in meiosis 2. When meiosis 1 added, it was normal, but in meiosis 2, when the sister chromatids are supposed to separate to diff two different daughter cells, they did not separate, and we are going to end up with a gamete, a proportion of gametes that have an extra chromosome, proportion of gametes that have a missing chromosome, and uh, proportion of gametes that are normal, so 50% would be normal and 50% would be abnormal. This whole as you know, half of the gametes are abnormal. Bill meiosis two, non-disjunction in meiosis two. Anta all of gametes are abnormal when non-disjunction occurs in meiosis one. So uh, when non-disjunction occurs, this is the case of non-disjunction in meiosis two. Uh, these are normal. So upon fertilization, we're gonna restore diploidy or add it to one. But uh, in case of non uh, in, in case of non-disjunction here, when an extra chromosome was added, and upon fertilization, uh, the individual is going to suffer from a trisomy. And this cell here that did not get any copy of the uh, uh, of the chromosome uh, upon fertilization, I can find the monosomy of this chromosome. Okay. If non-disjunction occurs in meiosis 1, uh, في عنا, half of the gametes will have an extra copy of the chromosome, half of the gametes in the uh, missing a copy of the chromosome. Upon fertilization, I'm going to get trisomy in half of the zygote and monosomy in the other half of the zygote. I also advise you to uh, try to draw it on your own so that you can memorize it properly. Okay? Head example at trisomy 21. And what a non-disjunction? I have, on upon fertilization, I have trisomy 21. 
uh, this is the example of Turner's syndrome, where uh, uh, non-destruction occurs in the sperm. The X and Y, uh, ما يروحوا كل واحدة على one daughter cell, the X and Y ended up in the same uh, daughter cell. And upon fertilization, some of the uh, zygotes were XXY. This is the example of Klein-Filter syndrome, and the other the other uh, daughter cells uh, uh, were uh, X only and X monosomy. Uh, had the Turner syndrome. كيف إجوا هول ال ال X only zygotes and the sperm. What the daughter cell of the sperm ما كان عنده any of the gonosomes upon fertilization with the ovum. Can be عنده only X or had the Turner syndrome. كمان Turner syndrome and Klein filter syndrome can also occur due to non-disjunction in the egg cell, مش بس بالسبرم. Here in this case, for example, you have non-disjunction and one gamete had XX and the other gamete had no gonosomes at all. Upon fertilization with a sperm that carries an X, we can either have triple X or we can have the Turner syndrome. XO. Open fertilization with a sperm that has Y, uh, we can have a client filter syndrome XXY, and uh, this this type of zygote is not viable where we only have Y in the chromosomes. Okay, is that clear? Okay, the other type of abnormalities at the level of the chromosomes can be in the structure of the chromosome, like the example of Kleidosha, uh, when uh, we have a deletion of the most of the short arm of chromosome 5, and the uh, uh, child would, would uh, suffer from severe mental retardation and larynx malformations. Okay? Uh, lastly, the last document, uh, we're going to talk about the prenatal diagnosis, the diagnosis before birth. Uh, we should obtain, first of all, fetal sample. We should obtain a fetal sample for us to be able to analyze it. Uh, we can do that by three, uh, three techniques. We can either do amniocentesis, uh, where we take uh, a part of the amniotic fluid, and this is usually done at the fourth month of pregnancy. We can do a chorionic, uh, chorionic villus biopsy, where we take a sample from the chorion, which is a fetal membrane, and this is done around the uh, second month of pregnancy. And the third method of obtaining fetal sample is by, fa is by sampling of the fetal blood uh, that is withdrawn from the umbilical uh, cord, and this is done starting the fifth month of pregnancy. Okay. Uh, when we take the fetal sample, we can either do karyotyping, we can do biochemical uh, analysis to detect certain protein alterations or deficiencies, and we can do DNA analysis, which is uh, uh, illustrated here in this picture. What we do is that we take DNA from the uh, fetus and we fragment it using restriction enzyme run uh, uh, the fragments on gel electrophoresis we add uh, certain probe if you want to detect certain genes and we get this picture that you are all familiar with can uh, whether the individual is homozygous normal heterozygous or uh, homozygous uh, abnormal we, we, we start to expect the genotype of the uh, zygote to uh, whether he's normal or not, still be sure we can ask him. So, for for example, here, if the child to have a thick band that corresponds to the mutant allele, for example, we say that this fetus is homozygous, abnormal. And of course, if the individual is homozygous, we are supposed to get a thick band at a certain position, because the two alleles are identical, so they will run at the same speed, and one of them will be one of them. So, this is a thick band. Now we're going to start with the questions. Now we're going to start by solving some questions related to the topic. We're going to start with the questions that has only one answer. Amniocentesis consists of, this is a definition. So it consists of obtaining a sample of the amniotic fluid containing the fetal cell. Okay, the definition is the exact same thing as in the book. The recombined gametes carry. So when we talk about recombined gametes, I'm talking about these gametes that contain recombinant chromosomes. So they carry new allelic combinations. For example, can the big A with a small B? Now we have another combination with the big A. So can the big A with the big B? Now we have a new allelic combination of the big A with a small B. Okay. So we do not have any new mutations or new genes. It's only new combinations. Homologous chromosomes. 
Um, or they have different appearance, but they are genetically identical, no. Blackies, they have a similar appearance, but uh, they're genetically distinct. Uh, they carry the same allele, no, not necessarily. It's uh, just uh, homozygous for a certain gene. Regrouped during mitosis, no. They carry the same genes, yes, but different alleles. The cross of two hybrid individuals who have two co-dominant alleles, A and A prime, would give. So this would be the cross. You have two individuals, both carry A and A prime, and they are uh, co-dominant. We're gonna get 50% of A A prime, 25% A A, 25% A prime A prime. Okay, so you have to do the cross on your own. And here, because we have only one answer to uh, to encircle, خلاص مجرد ما نلاقي percentage لعنا يا من حوقه وخلاص. According to the uh, genealogic tree, okay. I'm the allele responsible for the anomaly can be carried by Y. So, هلا أنا كل ما أطلع على حيلا answer بدحاول uh, حيلا choice بدحاول uh, افهم إذا هو إيه ولا لا. So, بقول أنا أكيد مش cannot be carried on Y لأنه في ميزة رفتكت. I'm all the allele responsible for the anomaly is necessarily dominant. Okay. Uh, عم نقول بنقول نحن انه لا it can be recessive ليه؟ لانه if one has a small d small d and two is normal but carries the uh, the allele uh, for the disease we can get the phenotypes that we are getting okay so it's not necessarily a dominant allele okay C عم تقول if the allele responsible for the anomaly is recessive it can be autosomal or it can be X-linked okay بنحاول نحن نجربها is it X-linked recessive? Okay, so to disprove that it is on X, I should find an affected female with a normal father. Okay, or I should find an affected mom with normal sons. Okay, and both examples are not found, so I'm better able to disprove this. Okay, so I cannot say that it's not on X, so that you're responsible for the anomaly is recessive and it can be uh, autosomal or it can be X-linked. Okay. Uh, Tracy, I'm going if the allele responsible for the anomaly is dominant, it's necessarily X-linked. Okay. For uh, men uh, all, you know, father one is affected. Genotype would uh, be X big D Y. Then who I'm going is if it's dominant, but the daughter is normal. Well, kid, he daughter, she has to take the X from her dad. Like, no, the X taken from her mom is normal. Okay, as I'm saying, no, it's dominant. And for the mom to be normal, it's not going homozygous. Okay. Uh, and this is not the case, this is not possible, so it's not D, so it's C. بهيك انواع من الاسئلة لازم انا احاول يعني كيف انا هون انا شارحة لحالي وكيف انا فكرت انا فكر هيك بالاكزام اوكي. The document shows the results of a DNA electrophoresis in a family that gene responsible for the disease can be. اوكي. So I'm going to say the father is homozygous, the son is homozygous, the mother is heterozygous, the father and the mother are. Healthy. The son is homozygous, but because he has a band that is not the father, the father is normal homozygous, so the son will become abnormal. Okay? I'm going to say that the disease can be our so uh, dominant autosomal. That's the first The son is homozygous and diseased, so the genotype would be big D, big D. So both parents must carry. Uh, uh, the big D allele because the son is homozygous, but this is not the case. Okay? Because the father and mother are healthy. Okay? Recessive autosomal. Okay, if we say that the son is homozygous and diseased, so it will small d, small d, so both parents must be carriers, but still the father is homozygous and he's not a carrier. Okay? Is it dominant X-linked? If it's dominant X linked, so the son should be X big D Y, so the mom must carry an X D, and if the mom carries X D and the disease is dominant, she's supposed to be um, uh, diseased, and this is not the case. Therefore, the the last choice recessive X linked. If, uh, if the disease is the recessive X linked, the son should be X small D Y. The mom. Uh, uh, should be 
X and X D then no it's recessive okay well father uh add him be him be him the amr and who am y son okay would you could x and y who had a tabi who he's normal so this can be the case uh and this is possible so the answer is d genetic mutations are transmitted to the descendants if the mutation affects what أكيد the germ cells. ما إلا عليه ال mutation whether it's uh, inherited to the next uh, generation or not. Uh, ما إلا عليه ال location of the mutation. Okay. إلا عليه ب uh, بأي نوع من ال cells صارت هذه ال mutation. Is it germ cell or somatic cell? Somatic cells are not transmitted to the next generation, but germ but the mutation in uh, uh, germ cells is transmitted to the next mutation uh, next generation. وشفناها هيدي بالصورة اللي حطيناها wide explanation. Diversity of living things uh, of the same species results from recombination of alleles during what? I'm talking about recombination in meiosis only. But the proof is one. Okay. Crossing over. Crossing over occurs in meiosis. Yes. It contributes to the genome diversity, yes, because we will have new allelic combinations. It does not take place uh, uh, in the male uh, Drosophila. This is the choice, but I have no idea uh, about this, uh, this choice. I don't know if it's going to be in the male Drosophila or not. But because I know that A and B are correct and I have to encircle only one degree, I will encircle all of the above D. Okay? In a dihybrid cross with independent genes, the phenotypic proportions obtained from a test cross are. So, if we have a dihybrid cross, and I'm going to test cross, okay, so I'm going to get 25%, 25%, 25%, and 25%. Okay? So, I'm going to the prenatal diagnosis of a genetic disease. The prenatal diagnosis of genetic disease. Allows to detect the chromosomal changes, yes, with the normal genotype. Is ensured by DNA analysis, yes. Is ensured by the preparation of genotype, yes, so all of the above. Okay. Now we're going to start with the questions that has more than one answer. Homozygote case of a gene occurs in individuals having the same phenotype uh, determined uh, by this gene, a uh, lot. Individuals having two exact uh, alleles of a gene, yes. Individuals having at least one recessive allele of a gene, مخاص, so it's B. Given two genes A and B, the cross between a homozygote recessive individual and a heterozygote individual would give... So I'm crossing, uh, I have two genes... Um, and I'm crossing a homozygote recessive individual and a heterozygote individual, okay? So, shabiha bil test cross. So, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna, am I gonna get four phenotypes in equal percentages if the genes were linked, okay? 50% uh, is the kind of genes are linked. Haitlaouli, uh, whole percentages. Haitlaouli, 50% to 50%. اوكي وبتفرق معي شو ال 50% يعني اي هي بيج اي مع بيج بي ولا بيج اي مع سمول بي depending on the position of the genes whether they were cis or trans اوكي واذا كانوا linked to my crossing over ما حيطلع في عندي equal percentages anyways حيطلع في عندي different percentages اوكي سو اي غلط كيف ما حسبت يعني انا هنا عم بيقولوا لي اذا الجينز وير لينك بشوف انا شو هن البرسنتجز لما يكونوا الجينز لينك وبشوف اذا هذا صح ولا لا طلعت معي غلط عم اقول فور فينوتايبس ان ايكوال برسنتجز اف ذا جينز ار اندبندنت يس هيدي مثل هيدي الكيس اوكي اه اولويز تو فينوتايبس ريجاردليس اف ذا جينز ار لينك اور اندبندنت اكيد لا اوكي هوموجينيس جينيريشن اكيد لا اوكي Crossing over is an exchange between two chromatids of the same chromosome. No, as not two chromatids of the same chromosome are identical. Between non-sister chromatids of uh, two homologous chromosomes, yes, has no effect on diversity. Of course not. 
Amur is produced during prophase 2 la during prophase 1. For F2 generation, if we obtain equal proportions of parental phenotypes and equal proportions of recombin recombined phenotypes, then Okay, I'm in all is a if the two genes uh, concerned are independent, la, then if the two genes are independent, F2 generation ratios will be 9 to 3 to 3 to 1. I mean, if the two genes are linked, yes, but we can find an absolute linkage, and we can find an absolute linkage, we can find an crossing over, and, and we're gonna get uh, uh, two proportions of the cell. Okay, two 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 and two groups. How can we find the parental? How can we find the recombinant? Percentages of the recombinant are almost equal to each other, and percentage of the parental are almost equal to each other. And we have a huge difference, of course, between the percentage of the recombinant as compared to that of the parental. Okay, so uh, the answer would be B. Um, we cannot tell uh, because we don't know if the character in uh, question is controlled by a single gene. Mahas. Uh, it's not possible to obtain these results in Bala, it is possible. Okay. Test the cross is a cross between two pure lines, la. is a cross of two recessive homozygotes, la. the cross of a dominant uh, homozygote, no, it's the cross between a heterozygous individual and a recessive homozygous individual, yes, this is a definition. Which will be the blood group of a father whose child is group A and his wife is O. So I'm in all the father Shuhuwe is or the wife is O and the child is A. So the father has to donate a uh, donate has to give the child uh, the A allele. So the father yeah but you A B we are to ignore A. I would call A O or A A whatever. Muhammad you to ignore A. Okay, so A and C are correct. Mutations, mutations affecting the uh, germ, germinal uh, cells are transmitted to the descendants, yes, okay, and somatic cells are not. Affecting somatic cells are not hereditary, yes, uh, can be provoked by certain environmental factors, yes, so uh, certain environmental factors can cause mutations. Non-identical twins. Carry the same genome? No, because they're not identical. Their genetic content is different, yes. They come from the same zygote? No, because if they come from the same zygote, they would have been identical. Uh, this is the case of identical twins. Uh, they come from two different zygotes? Yes, this is true. A mutation is an alteration in the sequence of the nucleotide, yes. Okay. Is always transmitted from one generation to another. La, la, no, in certain cases of uh, soma mutations in somatic cells, they're not uh, transmitted. The loss of a segment uh, of a chromosome, yes, this is in case of chromosomal mutations. Is the addition of a segment to a chromosome, command, yes. Okay. So A, C, and D apply to mutations. Prenatal diagnostic tests consist of analyzing fetal cells. How do we get these fetal cells? By amniocentesis, yes. By biopsy of chorionic villi, yes. And by analyzing blood samples. So all of these are correct. Crossing over is a process which involves the breaking and rejoining of chromosome fragments, yes. And it's a process that occurs during the first meiotic division, yes. So in circle C, A and B are correct. A gene exist in two different versions in a heterozygous individual, yes, and we can have heterozygous and two different alleles for the same gene, exist in different versions in the population, yes. And if you have two alleles for the same gene, it's called polymorphic because it occupies different loci on the chromosomes. No, I have some gene polymorphic when I have uh, different alleles for the same gene with each allele uh, having a 1% uh, presence in the population. Okay, I have some polymorphic gene. Michelin and what occupies different loci on the chromosome. Okay. Genetic mutations are always uh, inherited. Misharet, لما يكون في عنا in somatic cells they're not inherited. Always producing new phenotypes from pre-existing ones. 
مش شرط لانه sometimes the mutations are silent can be the result of uh, DNA replication error yes during uh, DNA replication uh, we would have an error uh, for example one nucleotide would be missed or we, we, we would replace uh, one nucleotide with another لما يكون في عندنا substitution okay so this occurs during DNA replication are not influenced by environmental factors no they are true or false I'm all, it is possible to obtain a child with blood uh, group O from a group A father and a group B mother. Okay? Yes, if I can buy A O with mom uh, B O, be O from the mom or O from the dad, or the child would have blood group O. Okay? Abnormalities in chromosome number results from non disjunction of chromosomes during the first or second meiotic division. This is true. Okay, test cross is done between two individuals of F1 generation. No, yeah, I'm not sure. Self cross is done between two individuals of F1 generation. Or all test cross is done between uh, a hybrid or a heterozygous uh, with a double recessive. Okay. هلا بدي اقول انه امرار بيجي questions انه they're not directly related to any topic مثلا for example امرار بيقولوا cancer is due to a slow cellular division for this reason it requires prolonged treatments by substances that kill dividing cells هلا هدي بتصير مثل كانه اكثر من common knowledge انه cancer لا it's due to the slow uh, to the fast sorry cellular division كما هيك بيطلع لي tumors okay كمان true or false And all two alleles of a gene are responsible for the appearance of two different aspects of the same character. Two, yeah, كل alleles هو خاصة بيا the same aspect, بيا a certain aspect. Okay. And هلا إذا كان codominant نينتون will be expressed. إذا ما كان codominant واحدة will be masked by the dominant. Okay. And هلا intermediate dominant شيء ثاني. مهم إنه كل alleles is responsible for a certain aspect. In autosomes, a recessive allele is expressed only if found in double copies. This is true. Okay, and if we have the other allele which is uh, uh, dominant, it, the recessive allele would be masked. So, uh, third one, we call monohybridism every cross down to study two characters controlled by two allelic pairs. False, head con dihybridism. Okay, or we study one character controlled by one gene. Uh, in case of trisomy 21, affected individuals has cardiac malformations but reaches the sexual maturity. This is true, we've mentioned that earlier. Analysis of a pedigree allows to calculate the probability for a couple to have a children carrier of certain character. This is true. Now, I'm table exercises. Now, we will have 10 questions in genetic exercises. We will be able to do that, okay? Uh, the first exercise, I'm going to have one uh, question only. So, hemophilia B is a hereditary disease that affects the coagulation of the blood. Uh, I'm going to show pedigree, okay? I'm going to ask the allele responsible for this disease is what? A kid, it's recessive, and we have unaffected parents with an affected child, okay? Uh, the allele responsible for this disease is located on what? Is it located on uh, autosome, gonosome X, or gonosome Y? So, فخلينا نشوف أول شيء. من بلش نحل. من نقول is it on Y? Okay. من نشوف إنه نحنا في عنا individual form, for example, is disease. وحيكون في عنده ال وإذا كان هو on Y this disease كان حيكون له genotype اللي له X Y small D نحن قلنا هو recessive ساعتها إذا X small D Y small D هيد ال Y كروموزوم حيكون جايبه من بيو ساعتها بيو بده يكون في عنده Y D بيو كان حيكون disease this is not the case so it's not on Y okay is it on X نحن عم نشوف pattern هيد الpattern اللي نشوفه إنه الأهل normal وفي عنا بس الصبيان that are affected هي بتكون pattern of X linked recessive okay? ليه لأنه بتكون المام is a carrier for the uh, X small d بس because it has the normal X uh, she's healthy وعم تعم, she's, uh, she's giving this uh, X with the disease that lead to her sons كيف أنا بميز هلا سو أنا ما فينا عمليا نقول إنه it's not on X كل ما جرب على حيالة واحد منهم تزبط معه إنه on X بس أنا كيف بميز أو كيف بيخد الإمبرشن إنه هي it's an autosomal uh, carried on an autosomal ولا 
اكسبلينك ريسيسيف لانه اذا انا بجرب كمان اوتو زوم كمان بتزبط معي اذا بقول انا انه الداد كارير والمام كارير وبيعطي انه الصن بيطلع سمول دي سمول دي بس لانه انا عم شوف هيدي الباترن انه بس البويز ار بينج افكتد بتعطيني امبرشن انه اتس جونوزوم اكس سو وات وود بي ذا جنرال تايب اوف انديفيدجوال 2 4 هيدا حيكون في عنده x small d y اوكي exercise 2 this is a case that we are seeing اوكي بيسالونا two questions اول شيء the type of cell this is a gamete because we we are observing a haploid karyotype وفي عندنا abnormality شو هي abnormality نقول trisomy 21 حياتينا اذا عملت fertilization لانه في عندنا هون disjunction عم شوف two chromes of 21 I'm supposed to get on to have only one اوكي هلا هول في عندنا more than one answer لهول ال questions in drosophila You'll answer this question or you, on your own. Take your time if you want to hold. I'm going to say in Drosophila, the uh, blood color and size of wings are coded by two linked genes. Each gene has two different alleles. You have the gray and black and the long and vestigial. Okay, the gray is dominant over black and the long is dominant over vestigial. Okay, if we cross individuals, of two uh, uh, pure races. يعني عم نقول نحن واحد GL هو pure يعني حيكون GL GL cross BV uh, BV. Okay. شو حيطلع لي كل F1 generation حيطلع لي هو هن. فحيكون عندهم كل يتون long wings وحيكونوا gray. Okay. إذا بدنا نعمل F1 cross F1. Okay. Uh, هون عم نقول F1 is or cross. Uh, شو حيطلع لنا بال F2 generation. بعمل ال 1 سكوير بيطلع في عندي 75% جراي with long wings 25% بيفي اوكي سو عم نقول هون ان بيديجري وان ا ريسيسيف ديزيز از لينك تو ذا اكس كروموزوم ذان عم نقول نون اوف ذا بويز وود بي افكتد لا ما خلص في يكون افكتد البوي ان افكتد مادر كان اونلي هاف افكتد بويز اوكي سو اف ذا مام از افكتد حتكون اكس دي X small d, X small d, and who is recessive? So, حتعطي ابنا X على أكيد لأنه ال Y حتيجي من ال من ال father. لأنه هي حتعطي X وال boy ما في عنده another X to mask any allele that's present on X. So, the boy will be X D, and he will be diseased. So, B is true. Okay. If the father is affected, the daughter is certainly affected. If the father can affect, he can X D Y. But the mom can be normal. We can feel that the daughter takes the normal X from her mom, or the disease, the X with the diseased allele from her dad. But the normal would mask the diseased allele because the diseased allele is recessive, and C is not true. Okay, all daughters are affected. No, 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 no. So B. Question five. I'm on question five. The following gate represents a family where some of its members are affected with cystic fibrosis. هلا نحنا بنكتب في examples certain examples حطيتهم بالسلايد هلا next certain diseases that we have to know. So هني معتبرين أنتم تعرفوا شو هي cystic fibrosis. تعرفوا إنه it's autosomal recessive. حتى لو أنتم سيتوها في كون حاولوا جربوا بيطلع معكم إنه it's autosomal recessive. بكون ضيعت شوي من وقتكم. Okay. Uh, our she, من the, the responsible allele for this disease is recessive. Eh, لأنه عم نشوف يعني normal parents but affected uh, children. Uh, عم نقول A2 must be homozygous for this mutated allele. Yes, لأنه uh, uh, هو autosomal uh, recessive. Uh, for, for it to express the disease, لازم يكون في عنده two copies of it. A3 and A4 must be heterozygous. Yes, لأنه هني they are carrier of the diseased allele. لأنه أولا موين بديجي هيدا diseased children اللي عنده small d small d genotype. B2 must be homozygous for the normal allele. مش شرط. صح إنه أنا بول حدا from from the offspring تعول ال B2 مبين عنده disease. بس يمكن بعد نرجع يجيب ولد خامس. Okay. ويطلع عنده disease. ويكون اثنيناتهم كاريس. فما في عنده شيء بيثبت لي مية بالمية إنه هو هو مزايقت for the normal allele. I'm all C6 cannot be a carrier for the mutated allele. كمان ما في عنده شيء بيثبت لي هذا الشيء. 
اوكي لانه ليكو الام الباي سوري اخته مريضه فيمكن انه يكون هو كارير كمان يمكن يكون نقل هيدا الديزيز الديزيز اللي تكون هي كمان كاري سي 6 سو هون هن الديزيز اللي حاولوا يحفظوه هون بيمروا امرار كثير واسهل لكم واحسن لكم انكم تكونوا انتم بتعرفوهم لهم اوكي exercise 6 عم نقول انه we have a farmer اوكي uh, he wanted to obtain crested canary birds اوكي سو هي بوت تو كابلز اوف ذم هو هو فهول تو كناريز اعطوني 21 اكس اوكي بس من هول 21 اكس بس 15 منهم فقسوا ومن هول اللي فقسوا دول في عندي 11 كريستد و4 نورمال اوكي هي واز ديسابوينتد حاول يعيد التجربه مره ثانيه بس كمان هي كوت ذا سيم ريزولت اوكي We have certain eggs that never hatched. Yeah, the hen out of 21, we have 15 only hatched. Oh, كمان في مع معنا normal canaries. Who can بدو الكل يطلع crested canaries? Okay. What is the correct answer? Uh, okay, I mean, all the crested canaries are homozygous. أكيد لا. أكيد they are heterozygous. أولا مون بدو يجي normal canary in the offspring. Okay. So B. If we admit the character crested and uh, character normal are governed by two alleles, mean uh, حيكون في عنا dominance of one allele over the other yes. مين حيكون ال dominant حيكون ال dominant هو the crested لأنه the crested كان حامل normal وطلع في عنده بال offspring normal بس ما كان مبين عليه okay. أكيد ما في عنا codominance في عنا dominant. So if we want to check right the the genotype, the normal canary would be small and small and crested would be big and small and okay لانه هذا الكريستد كان عم يكون كارير اوف ذا نورمال كمان طلع عنده بالاوف سبرينج واحد نور given explanation as to why approximately uh, quarter of the eggs never hatched نحن قلنا uh, عم يقول هو ليث الاليل فهو كثير سهل علي الجواب هو قال لي انه اتس ليث الاليل المشكله فيه اوكي وانا بعرف انه ليث الاليل از ليث ان ذا هوموزايجس ستيت مش من هيتروزايجس ستيت اوكي سو so حتى لو انا عمليا ما فهمت uh, كيف صار ليث الاليل ولا عرفت كيف البونت سكوير ولا عرفت شيء لانه انا بعرف انه ليث الاليل از ليث ان ذا هوموزايجس ستيت بحوق بي اوكي طيب اكسرسايز 7 ذا فولوينج دوكيومنتس Indicates that two of a family where certain members are affected by a rare uh, hereditary disease caused by dominant allele. Okay. ونحنا عم يقولنا عطونا ال annotations اللي قلون ونحنا كمان عم we are we are at the same time studying the ABO uh, group. Okay. عم يقولنا which is correct. عم يقولنا that uh, the responsible allele for the disease is autosome. اوكي نحن بنعرف انه دومينانت دغري بس يكتبوا لي دومينانت انا بصير احط خط تحت القصص اللي من كل هيدا الحكي المكتوب اللي فوق يعني انا مثلا فور اكزامبل الاليز ار لوكاليزد اون كروموزوم 9 ما اعرف اذا لحيت هلا ما بدهن بصير بس اقرا الاسئله بشوف شو بيهمني بصير احط تحته خط لحتى ما تفوتني ولا معلومه من الجيفن اللي عندي اياه لانه بالجيفن بيكون ازيد بكثير من ما انا بحتاج اوكي عم يقولوا لنا اول وحده The responsible allele for the disease is autosomal. Okay, we will start. We will see the mode of inheritance. We will start with the study. What did we learn from the first thing? We will say is it on Y? No, because the females are affected. Okay, is it is it on X? We will see this girl girl one. Okay, normal. She has X X, but her dad is disease is a dad disease so it's a dominant allele so حيكون الجينوتايب اللي له x big d y ونحن عارفين انه الداد حيعطي البنت the x chromosome واذا هيدا عطاها الداد عطاها x big d x big d so اكيد حتطلع البنت disease this is not the case so it's not on x is it on the homologous segment of x and y منقول لا because هو اللي في عنا sister and brother that are both normal with an affected father so Uh, it so the the gene uh, is located on an autosome. Okay, so من how a b the genotype of two five is small n o small n o. Okay, uh, he's normal. We طلع disease عنا هي dominant. فنا إنه هو normal فأكيد حيكون هو مزاجس لن normal. لو إن إنه ال blood type اللي إله o ونعرف إنه ال o هي recessive فكم بدي يكون o o. Okay, طيب the genotype of three three 
اوكي از ان بي ان او اوكي هلا نحن بنعرف انه عند هو نورمال كمان حيكون دبل ريسيسيف لانه نورمال از ريسيسيف عنده بلاد تايب بي اوكي از ات بي بي او بي او اكيد هي اتس بي او لانه هيدي البيو از او او اجباري انه هو يعطي وحده من الاو فحيكون هو بي او اوكي سو سي از كوريكت عم قول ذا جينو تايب اوف 3 4 از بيج ان سمول بيج ان بي اند سمول ان بي اوكي اكيد هو ما حيكون بي بي لانه هير داد is O, so no way to either give another copy of the B. Okay. In exercise 8, I mean, we're studying the pedigree, determine uh, which are the dominant and recessive characters, and if there is a case of intermediate dominance. We can fill it, we can know a lot about it, that A will be our dominant over O, and A and B are dominant over each other, okay? Um, uh, determine the genotype of individuals uh, 2, 4, 2, 7, 2, 3, 2, and 3, 7. Okay. Here, we have 2, 4. 2, 4 blood type is uh, A. Okay. But if you have a male that has O, then you can have an AO and you can have an AO. Okay. 2, 7. Uh, a كمان بس بيا O فأجبالي هي تكون A O uh, 3-2 A uh, وهي A O لأنه ما فيها ت... لأنه هي يا A A يا A O وما بيا B فأكيد بيا هو عمليا B O و... وإما uh, A O لحتى يطلع في عندهم ولد uh, O فهي حتكون A O لأنه ما فيها تكون A A لأنه ما بدها تجيب ال A الثاني أصلا اوكي 3 7 هو بي بس بيو او فهو اكيد حيكون بي او اوكي فا اي از كوركت زين عم اقول جينو تايب في ثاني اوبشن بيكون 2 4 از بي او بس هي اكشلي اي فا يعني كثير كثير سهل السؤال 2 7 عم يقولوا لنا بي او كمان لا ما نحن عارفين ام بلاد تايب اللي لها اي اوكي اكسرسايز 9 هون نحن عم نشوف فاميلي يلي عندهم رير هيريديتري ديزيز اوكي عملوا لنا از ذا ديزيز دومينت اور ريسيسيف لما اشوف انا افكتد انديفيدجوال وذ نورمال بيرنتس اكيد بقول ريسيسيف لما نقول رير ديزيز مش شرط يكون ريسيسيف هي حطوه ببالكم اوكي رير ديزيز مش شرط يكون ريسيسيف دي يكون رير ودومينت وفي نقول فيري كومن وريسيسيف اوكي So recessive من حوى A determine the type of transmission من حوى نشوف type of transmission ومن حوى نحل كل الباتيجري مثل العادة ونحنا هون بيطلع معنا إنه it's not on the Y لأنه الولد صبية ما مش بخو بيون من قول is it on X بتضبط معنا إنه on X ومنشوف هيدا الباترن اللي حكيت عنه قبل شوي انه في عنا normal parents بس ال boy is affected اوكي فانا ما بقدر اقول انه it's not on X so it's a chromosomal transmission اوكي و plus انه عم شوف الباترن ما تنسو normal parents و only sons are affected ما في عندي ولا مرة الفيميل affected the couples 3-1 and 3-2 have child 4-4 Yeah, I mean, all risk to have the disease, knowing that the fetus is a boy. We're doing the Punnett square, okay? But we have the whole probabilities. But the idea is that I don't want to say that the child will be disease, but it will be X D Y. It's actually 25% out of all probabilities. But we said that the ultrasound revealed it's a male. So I know that it's a boy. Knowing that it's a boy, knowing that the fetus is a بوي حيطلع في عندي 50% out of the boys حيطلعوا diseased اوكي last question عم نقول دالتونزم is an anomaly due to recessive gene that's carried on X chromosome هيدا اللي بحط تحت خط the loss of her is due to an autosomal gene اوكي in the male it's dominant and in the female it's recessive زين بدنا نشوف اي وحدة is correct A or B or both أنا عندي دالتونيان دالتونيان ميل يعني كيف حيكون عنده إكس واي عاد 
اوكي Uh, with normal hair so small and small and لانه عند الميلز الباردنس از دومينت اوكي سو اف هيز نورمال حيكون دبل ريسيسيف ميريد ا وومن هو از كارير فور ذا بوث اوف ذا ميوتيتد اليز اوكي يعني عندها اكس نورمال وذ اكس دي وان نورمال وذ ذا اذر اليل بيينج دي اوكي عم بيقدر يع... كان دي جيف اوكي ادالتونيان بوي Uh, who is bold okay اذا بده يكون دالتونيان باد بوي بده يكون في عنده اكس سمول دي واي تزبط معه لانه في ياخذ هيدا الاكس سمول دي فروم هيز مام بده يكون عنده بيج دي اوكي لانه لحتى يكون هو عنده هير لوس اذا هو بده ياخذ الدي الليل هيدا الدي الليل هو اكشلي اخذها من امه بس عند امه از ريسيسيف بس عنده هي دومين اوكي So this is possible. هذه هي التريك هون. هو عنده دي قليل أخذه من أمه. عند أمه it's it's recessive and it's masked. بس عنده it's normal. So this is possible. Option B: a bald man with normal vision. Bald man يعني في عنده في عنده big D. Regardless إذا كان heterozygous ولا homozygous. With a normal vision يعني عادي X Y. Okay. Uh, Mary is a woman carrying the daltonian allele. يعني عنده X and the X and XD. Okay? And it's recessive. Carrying it. في يطلع له daltonian and bald boy. نعم يسألون السؤال. إذا أن daltonian and bald boy يعني بدي يكون في عنده XDY. أخذ هذه الـ XD من أمه والـ Y من بيو possible. وبدي يكون bald يعني في عنده the big D. هي أخذها من بيو. So both A and B are correct. Okay? This is the last question. Come in, please let me know if you have uh, any question on these slides. I know it's very hard to explain genetics. I tried my best to write everything. But again, please write everything you want. Write everything you want. And best of luck. Thank you.